from NBC News. This is Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. All right, Al, thank you very much, and Mike, best of luck. This morning in our continuing series, Forever Young, A Guide to Life After 50, Defensive Aging, a study on identical twins recently published in the Annals of Plastic Surgery showed that lifestyle choices and environment can play a role in the rate at which we age and even slow the aging process. New York City plastic surgeon, Dr. Derek Antel, is the author of the study. Doctor, good to see you. Thank you. Let's talk about the premise here, and it sounds pretty obvious. If we're talking about identical twins, then we're talking about people with identical genes, and therefore... Therefore, they should age exactly the same, because they're genetically alike. But I believe that people have highly overrated the influence of genes on the aging process. And the really important part of this study is that it proves that lifestyle choices very much affect the rate at which you age. So this is really the nature versus nurture debate, and exactly. you're saying the way we nurture ourselves in terms of our lifestyle has the greatest impact. Exactly. Where did you find your twins for the study? We went to Twinsburg. Twinsburg, Ohio has a large festival every year where thousands of twins come, and we took hundreds of photographs at that, at that festival. So now, what are the factors you looked at in terms of lifestyle that would impact the way we age? And I think you're talking more about the physical signs of aging as opposed to how we feel? Yes, the physical signs. And the most important factors appear to be sun exposure, smoking, stress, and other contributing factors would be healthy lifestyle choices like uh, exercise and eating well, okay. medical problems. Let's so take forth. a look at some of the pictures we have on the set. We want to tell people at home, these are not before and after pictures. Correct. These are the identical twins here. Exactly. And this one talks about the effects of the sun. Tell yes. me what we have. The twin on the left led a very carefree lifestyle. She was out in the sun all the time, lived in Southeast Asia and then California. If you look at her skin, it's just coarser. There are many more wrinkles. They're deeper. The wrinkles around the eye, there's discoloration of her skin. And Matt, there are even sunspots on her nose. There's loose skin around her neck compared to her sister who looks much better. Now, they're exactly the same age and she has some wrinkles, but they're just not as deep and the skin is better quality. In terms of their lifestyle though, what, was everything else the same? Everything else was pretty much the same. Stress there were a and of, smoking and things like that? There were a couple of minor things, but we felt that sun exposure was really the main contributing factor here. All right, let's back up a second because our next set of identical twins show us the effect of smoking. And, and tell me what we have here. Exactly. This set, they both lived in the same Midwestern area, so we did not feel that smoking was the contributing factor. Rather, the twin on the left... Not for, sun, you mean? Correct, not okay. sun. The twin on the left smoked for 30 years, whereas the twin on the right never smoked. So if you look at the lines on the forehead over here and the vertical line here, the lines around the eye and the loose skin along the neck is much different than on her twin sister where it's much smoother. And, and would that hold true because from what I've read, smoking affects the elasticity in the skin? Well, actually, the smoking shrinks all the capillaries, the little blood vessels that feed the skin, so it's not getting proper nourishment. Right. And, and the same thing happens with stress. All right, let's take a look at stress right here. Again, not a before and after picture. We have identical twins here. Tell me what we should look for. Now, we've all heard of people that, quote, went gray overnight with a stressful event because it clamps down all the blood vessels. And some other subtle changes that you see are lines in the forehead, lines between the eyebrows, lines on the cheek, and an overall change in the quality of aging compared to her sister, her twin sister. Now, are you talking about an overall stressful lifestyle or someone who may have had a stressful event? Well, they both had children. They both lived in the same Midwestern environment, but the twin on the left had gone through a difficult divorce, and we thought that was a contributing stressful factor in her life. You also went out and then you, you conducted facelifts on twins. What did you find there? Well, interestingly, we've uh, at this point done more facelifts than anyone else in the world on identical twins. We did different facelifts on them. We're studying the facelift operation so that we could bring them back into balance, but so that we could also examine the different techniques of facelift surgery. Now, this is, is a before and after. This is the same person here. Correct. It's the same person. And if you look at the before, you see the loose skin that she has along the uh, neck right. and along the jawline. She has a jaw formed over here. And in the post-operative picture, you Let's see how much, a little further. There how, we go. how much cleaner it is over here. You'll see how the jawline is clean and the neck is much cleaner. Based on your studies with these identical twins, you've come up with, with ways that we can be defensive in our lifestyle yes. in terms of aging. And so what are the obvious answers to that? Well, it's all the things that mom always told you. You should avoid direct sunlight. You should avoid smoking. You should eat a good diet, get regular exercise, and if necessary, later on in life, consider plastic surgery to rebalance things. I would imagine when you showed these identical twins the differences in their faces based on their level of exposure to the sun and smoking and stress, the 
one who didn't look as good probably came to you real quickly. <laughs> well, they, they were never really as aware of it because they only see each other one at a time because they're twins. Right. It's only us that see them as twins. We see them side by side. So when we showed them the pictures, it was very revealing. Dr. Derek Antel, thanks very much. We appreciate Thank it. You.